If you want to make money with native ads, then watch this video. Today, we're going to talk about the shocking truth about native ads and whether or not you should actually quit and when you should quit when you are not making any money. And all of this is inspired by one of our members who has asked a question today in the forum. And I thought this would be the perfect video for today since it times well with what we just did two days ago, which was a live session on native ads and the five most important things you need to know to make money with native ads. If native ads or advertising in general or making money in general is of interest to you, make sure you subscribe to this channel because that's what we talk about. And today I'm going to go in and we're going to talk about the specifics of this question, some of the concerns about what he's running and what he's paying for clicks. And then we're going to talk about some of my suggestions after spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on native ads. So let's get in there now. First of all, let me show you that we did do a live session this week on the topic of native ads in our forum here in the premium access hub. You can see that we do live power hour sessions. These are one hour live sessions that we do where you can ask questions and I present on a topic that I have experience with. I've been doing affiliate marketing for over 20 years now, spent millions of dollars in online ad spend. And so I do have experience and I do have some knowledge and so that's why I, I feel that these are important sessions. So in here, we do talk about different topics. And you can see here, our last one was unlock the secret to earning thousands of dollars with native ads. And in fact, the next video I do on YouTube is going to be how I made my, fi my first $50,000 with native ads. So if you want to see that video, make sure you click the subscribe button because that's coming out next week. Okay, so here's the question. And this person is asking, at what point do you give up? And this is a great question because there's so many things to consider. And it's one of those questions that's so difficult for us to answer ourselves, especially when we're our heads are in this campaign and we don't know where to go. And we're trying to figure out what exactly should I do with this campaign? So we're going to address everything in this in this uh, comment here. And I'd be open to your comments and what you think could be done here. So the first thing he says is, I've been running native ads on web content for a weight loss offer for about seven days now. So right away, I think this is great. Weight loss is one of those categories that we know makes money. It has mass appeal, which means on native ads, this is good because on native ads, we have a very difficult time targeting people um, because all we're doing is we're putting our ads on major news networks or major publishers and getting people that are reading that content to try and click on our ads. So. There's nothing wrong with the niche here. And there's nothing wrong with the fact that he's ran this for seven days now. In fact, I would encourage people to run their ads at least seven days to make sure that you're getting every day of the week when you're running your ads. So we'll assume that he's doing everything right with that regard. So next he says, I am testing for video sales letter pre-sell pages. Another great thing, testing four pages right away, I think is a good idea. Um, and then one of them is clearly going to come out a winner. He also says testing 12 different ad creatives and increased my cost per click from 10 cents to 20 cents. And the offer payout is $65. So here's the thing. The first thing I would say here is yes, testing pre-sell pages is very important. And also testing ad creatives is very important. Those two things are what we're going to be able to optimize when we first start out a campaign, even though we don't have any conversions, like what he's saying here uh, down below, he's got no conversions yet. So that's, that's great. He's doing pre-sell pages, but we need to consider what the strategy is here before we talk about the cost per click, because there's some issues with the cost per click. And there's also some issues with the daily budget here that I want to talk about. But first let's talk about the pre-sell pages for VSL pre-sell pages. So one of the methods that I actually spoke of in our live session last, uh, the last power hour session was the method of doing these quick hit VSL landing pages that go to a 30 or 40 minute video. Now, whether or not this person is doing that is, is up for question. I, I'm not sure exactly what kind of pre-sell page he's using, but let's have a look at Adplexity for a second. So Adplexity is a native ads spy tool. If uh, you have never tried this, I highly recommend it above going and doing manual research because what you can do is you can actually come in here and you can see everybody's native ads. 
and you can actually filter it by days running, by countries, by English, uh, language, where all these things you can filter out and you can find what people are actually doing. So it's a great tool and you can actually get 30% off by using my referral link, powerhouseaffiliate.com slash adplexity down in the description. Okay, so we're talking diet. So that's why I put here weight because weight is probably going to be on the landing page. So I searched the word weight and you can see that there's a bunch of people running these types of ads. But one of the things that he said he's doing is video sales letters. So I found out some of these ads where they say, watch, watch now. Um, you'll see it a lot on native ads and you'll see a lot of people on YouTube pitching this method where you come in and you, let me show you the landing page. Um, I'm going to click on this and we're going to go see this landing page. And the type of landing page I'm talking about here is a very quick hit landing page where you have this headline at the top, then you have an image and then you have a watch video button. It's very simple. It's, it takes maybe five to 10 minutes to create. This method has been beaten to death. Okay. It has literally been going on for about three years now and everybody and their grandmother has pitched this on YouTube as a method. Now, I've done it myself. It worked at one time. In the last year, it has not worked for me, but I'm not saying it won't work for you. I'm just saying this is nothing new. This is something that has been going on for a very long time. Now, whether or not people are getting sick of this kind of ad or not, that could be argued. If this is the way that we are doing our landing pages, then consider the fact that this could be the reason why this campaign is not working, but there's other things that could be at play here as well. Now, what you'll also find, as I was doing more research, you will find people now doing more um, advertorial style. So it's advertorial versus video sales letter, whatever you wanna do. You have to kind of test different strategies. And, and if you try one and it doesn't work, then maybe you wanna try the other one. Here's another ad where it's kind of the similar style ad, but this one's for gummies, okay? And it's, it's a story of people who have made a difference in their lives by taking this supplement and it goes on to give people information. Now you have to consider the type of person we're advertising to. We are advertising to people who are currently reading the news likely or reading some story online. So it makes sense that advertorials are going to do well because this looks like another news story that they're going to read and they're going to keep engaging in the content. I'm not saying that you don't want to try the video sales letter. All I'm saying is, is maybe you should move into a different strategy here and try this. Now, I'm not sure what uh, our friend here is doing, so I'm not going to say whether he's doing one or the other because I don't really know, but really you should be trying different strategies here to make sure that you've thoroughly tested what you want to accomplish with your native ads. So let's go back to some of his comments here. 12 different ad creatives, that's fine because you can see which ad creatives are getting the best click-through rates, which are indicating that people are interested in your ad, but when they get to the landing page, are they clicking through, are they, are they engaged? And with those high click-through rate pages, like I showed you with the, with the video, um, you should be getting a very high click-through rate. You should be getting anywhere from 30 to 50% of people clicking through your landing page on those. But on advertorials, you're looking for a 20 to 30% click-through rate for those because people are engaging more. But the more they're engaged, the more likely they're going to convert. Okay? <clears throat> so here we are. Now we're going to talk about increase this cost per click from 10 cents to 20 cents. Now, this is rev content we're talking about here. I have ran several accounts on rev content and I've spent nearly a half a million dollars in rev content over the years. At no point um, have I spent 10 cents a click on ads, uh, unless I'm in some other obscure country. And so this to me indicates that we might be on the very low end scale of the cost per click, but there's so many things to consider here. Consider the country we're running in, consider the devices we're targeting and what type of publishers you're going after here. With diet and, and weight loss, um, we're looking for high quality publishers here because we need some good traffic that will break out their credit cards because basically we're selling something here. We're selling a supplement or we're selling some kind of diet product. So we need to get good traffic. And typically 
you're looking in the 60 cent range probably for a bid. And this might sound like I'm an ad rep on one of these platforms because all they want to do is get us to spend their, our money. But in reality, this is what I'm seeing on most campaigns. Now, let me bring up an example here. This is one of the accounts I was running and what I ran was this knee sleeve offer. It's a health offer and it was a physical product. And you can see my bid here was 65 cents and it was actually working quite well. We also had a casino here where I was bidding 65 cents. We have solar 45 cents. I think there was only one here. 16.5 cents was the lowest I bid on this account. Now, again, I do have three accounts with rev content, but this is just an example that there's never been a point where I've bid 10 cents. I think that that could be improved. Your quality of traffic could be improved by increasing your cost per click, but it is going to cost you more money in testing. And now it's going to be almost like you're starting a new test because you're coming in. You almost want to start a new campaign because if you come in and you jack your bid up to 65 cents, the algorithm is already kind of screwed up. So you need to start fresh. These algorithms aren't as advanced as some of the other traffic platforms. And you can confirm this with your rev content manager, but I'm saying you would start again with a higher cost per click. Now, I'm assuming you're running in a tier one country here. Next, let's talk about this payout, $65 for your offer. I don't know what offer you're running and I don't know what the earnings per click on average is for your network, but if it's not really high, like I'm talking $3 or above, then you're probably choosing the wrong offer here. I don't think I've seen a video sales letter for $65 payout in a very long time. And the reason for that is because there's other offers available. And let me just show you some examples. So if we're talking about video sales letters, let's look at Max Web for, for example. Now I uh, am a member of Max Web. If you want to go to Max Web, use my referral link and they may approve you faster, powerhouseaffiliate.com slash Max Web. But you'll see here that these offers, if I select weight loss, are paying over $115 for this one, over $100, I should say. But look at them, they're all here and they're all earnings per click above $3. And these are all video sales letters that you're speaking of. So perhaps you could double your payout uh, or nearly double it and have the same conversion rates, let's have a comparison of maybe what your earnings per click is on your offer currently versus what you might get on a network like this. Now, if you're looking at a different style, like an advertorial, and you don't want to do a video sales letter, my recommendation here is Affiliati. Have a look at this offer with over $5 earnings per click. And this is a straight sale keto cider fit gummies that's the example i showed you with the harvard um, example earlier the advertorial 136 dollars per sale is what you earn on this and the earnings per click on average on the network is over five dollars now this is for canada so you'd have to target canada meaning you'd have lower cost per click and this might work out better for you versus the 65 dollars payout at only 10 to 20 percent, uh, 20 cent clicks where you know you're getting poor quality traffic. Okay, so hopefully that addresses the cost per click issue here, the offer issue. And now let's talk about your daily budget where you said you went from 50 to 100. I think $100 is fair. Honestly, $100 a day is fine to weed out some of the crap placements like you said you have done. So I think you've done this properly. But unfortunately, you have no conversions yet to properly continue scaling. And that's that's a challenge we have. The only things we can really optimize are our ad click-through rates and our landing page click-through rates. Other than that, we're kind of waiting for conversions. And that's always where we as affiliates have the most difficulty, okay? So if you like this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and also come over to Powerhouse Affiliate and join our forum and perhaps offer your advice to our member here who also has some questions. Let me continue a little further and then I'm going to end the video because it's getting long and let's go. So I blacklisted a bunch of widgets on rev content to make sure my budget isn't being wasted. Yes, that's a good idea. I do that as well. Um, and currently we're doing a live case study on Outbrain where you will see me doing this, okay? 
And we'll talk about that campaign when we launch it here next week. But we, as part of our live session we just did, we're doing a Outbrain case study using an offer as well that uh, comes from one of these CPA networks. Okay, so there's definitely uh, quite a few variables at play here, which you are aware of. And he's a bit lost on what to do next. And I agree that this is a very difficult situation. It's harder for me to tell you what to do when I don't know the offer and I don't know the landing page. But considering what I've said earlier about the cost per click and the offer, perhaps you wanna try a different offer and consider trying a different strategy um, with your video sales letter. So from the Casino Native Ads, so he's talking about the Casino Native Ads case study I offer through the Powerhouse Affiliate Training. This is an older case study that I did on Rev Content, and it was how I actually made my first $50,000 in Native Ads, which I'm gonna be showing next week on this channel. So make sure again that you do subscribe. And so basically in that, I, I mentioned that I would move to another offer after four days, but consider the fact that that offer was a lead submit, meaning people only had to enter their name and email and I made 10 to $15. That was a very awesome offer. It still exists today and it is still something that works. However, um, in this case, four days doesn't make sense when you're running a credit card submit offer and a straight sale offer. You can't base your decision on four days because really it's a completely different scenario and you know that because you actually did say that. So um, there's nothing for me to add there other than the fact that you're right, that you can't really, in this case, determine it based on the four day spread. So you also noticed on Taboola that a $65 offer payout should be advertised at 45 to 55 cost per click, kind of similar to what I'm saying, anywhere from 40 to 65 cents probably is a, is a better cost per click, this, assuming you're going with tier one countries like Canada, United States, UK, Australia, New Zealand, all these places are, are in that range. A $200 daily budget would probably be better than $100, but honestly, I think $100 is enough. $50, definitely too low. Um, 100 is probably the lowest I would go with a native ads campaign. When I'm testing, especially for seven to 10 days, you wanna spend at least maybe one to $2,000. So you're gonna be looking at for 10 days at $200 a day, that's two grand, okay? So here's uh, the last question. Should I adjust accordingly or ignore that suggestion? I think you should not ignore the suggestion. I think it is correct when we look at the cost per click here. Um, so that's my advice on this. There's probably many other things to consider here. And if you're watching this video and you have some advice for this person, please, of course, come into our forum and offer that advice or post your comments down below. I really hope I answered this question um, effectively. And from here on out, if you have any further questions, um, I will answer it in the forum. And thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also check out our other training on native ads in the powerhouseaffiliate.com website. Come on over, join us, and we'll see you in the next video where I show how I made $50,000 the first time on native ads.